friends and welcome back to Amanda News. So today I'm coming at you from the beaches of Boracay, but I had a few spare minutes and so I thought I would give you an update on Jack because Jack turned seven months. Can you believe it, Jackie? Jack attack, Jack attack. Hi. Jack turned seven months on the 5th and we are the... I don't even know, 17th, so I'm kind of late. Little update for you. So he's a tank. In fact, we call him dump truck because he's so big. <laughs> and we joke that he's filled with lead or that he ate rocks for breakfast because he's a big boy, like a really big boy. Um, in fact, he's so heavy that I just can't carry him normally. Like I have to put him in the sling or I have to put him in the ergo, which those are the two carriers I use at the moment. I get a lot of questions about what carriers I use. So by the way, I'm using a Sakura Bloom linen ring sling. They're pure line, which is just the single layer in Caribbean, I believe is the color. It's like my favorite color. It's the same color as the water actually here, so yeah. And also I'm using an ergo carrier. And the ergo is great because it's like it's totally, it's just ergonomic. So it fits really nicely on your body and it's just super comfortable. And just before we left Malaysia, so we left, um, <clears throat> like he had all of his six month vaccinations. So he's totally up to speed on that. Um, tricky thing with being on the road while, you know, he's entering this like, solid food stage is that I haven't really started too much. I'm not really like full on with the solid foods. Basically what we do is whenever we're at a restaurant, if we're eating like breakfast this morning, I give him some toast to suck on and he just goes to town on it. Or I give him like pieces of watermelon. Like basically I'm doing the baby lead. Um, that said, I did buy some of those squishy fruit snack packs. I call them squishy snacks. I don't know what they're actually called, but you know, the pureed fruit or veg or whatever um, in the packages and he seems to do okay with them like if they're room temperature but if they're cold forget it I don't know if they're warm what he'll do but anyway my plan in terms of the food situation is that we are going to be back in Canada in the next uh, 10 days so by then we'll be setting up in my mother-in-law's house and you know you've got like the normal kitchen and the, all the stuff and so he'll be able to eat then so that's what's going on there um, in terms of just like Jack He's doing so good. Like, look at him. He's just sitting, just hanging out. He's a really chilled out baby. He has done a lot of travel in the past three weeks. Like, I don't even know how many countries. Thailand, Philippines, we left Malaysia. We went to Hong Kong, he went to Disney. Like, he's been all over the damn place and he's awesome. In fact, I was worried that his naps would be messed up. No, nope. he's been taking his three naps like usual and it's, I have no complaints, seriously. He did just get a cold the other day, so that kind of sucks, but he's fine. Like, he'll take liquid Advil, ibuprofen. He's a great little baby, to be honest. Like, his personality is coming out. He loves his daddy. Like, I don't know if he just realized his dad existed, but honestly, like, if Dean leaves the room, there's tears. So, that's new and exciting. Probably, too, because now that we're on holiday as a family and we're just kind of taking this, like, downtime and Dean gets to be around the kids all the time, you know, Jack is far more attached. So it's kind of interesting in that sense. I would say Jack is somewhere like 22 to 24 pounds. He might be a little bigger, I don't know. Both my kids are pretty massive when they're small. I just blame it on genetics because apparently I was a massive baby as well. But, I, but they're also exclusively breastfed so they've got that full cream milk happening. In fact, I think it's so full cream. Like I remember when Esme stopped nursing, she was like 22 months old. Um, about a month later, she just is like, she just lost all her baby fat. So it happens. He's great. He's chilled out. He loves his sister. He's a big baby. All is good. In terms of me, I feel great. Um, I started this weight loss segment last month, so I'll definitely be picking that up when I get back to Canada, which by the way, I'm pretty sure I've put on weight and haven't lost any because I'm on holidays and I'm eating a little too well. You know what I'm saying? So that's the scoop from us. Thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe because I've been doing a bunch of travel vlogs for Fridays, like just letting you know what we've been up to. And you know, I'm, I recently put out a Hong Kong Disney day in the life. So there's lots of videos. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Say bye. Gooba, gooba, gooba. And here's what I'm looking at in case you're curious really nice and calm and like it's it's super like I gotta explain the vibe here if you've been to Mexico it's nothing like it <laughs> it's like so here's like behind me. Yay, Disneyland